Um, you know things are serious when I don't do my usual cheerful uh, introduction. Um, but I feel like this issue that has brought me to speak to you guys is serious enough for me to skip all of the happy, positive kind of intro that I normally do. If any of you know my work in Sweden, then you probably know that it centers around working for marginalized communities and marginalized groups, whether it's Muslims, whether it's Jews, whether it's people with disabilities, whether it's black people. It's basically working for all marginalized groups and using my voice to amplify theirs. So a few days ago, the Swedish Public Employment Service, they are in charge of helping people get into the job market, um, did a advert that came out publicly. The advert is this one. The person whose face you see is perhaps Sweden's most important and most respected and highest paid influencer in Sweden. But the body that you see there is the body of a young influencer who has cerebral palsy and who is of mixed background. Now, I have no issue with both people presenting in this image. In fact, Therese is a influencer and I'm going to explain to you who Therese Lindgren is, the face that you see in this um, advert. Like I said, she is Sweden's largest influencer. Uh, a week ago, she received an award as the most influential person in the influencer sphere. She also happens to be someone that I consider an acquaintance and have had conversations with her on social media, in private, um, regarding various issues. We also come from the same town in Sweden, so generally when that town speaks about people they're proud of that came from that town, it's usually myself and Therese that they put side by side and give us, you know, props for our work. Now, Natalie, whose body is in that, in that image, is also an influencer. Like I said, she is mixed, she is inspiring, young woman so inspiring that i asked her to be in my first book that i wrote in 2016. in that book she herself spoke about how the beauty community treats someone like her how there is an image where normative people are presented first and white people are presented first and when you have disabilities like she does then you go to the bottom of the list wait i want you to understand she's a young woman she champions for LGBTQ plus issues. She champions for people with disabilities. She is extremely funny, really, really kind and very good hearted. So she's an influencer in, in everything that it comes with. So like I said, Arbex for Medlingham are in charge of helping people get into the work market. So this year they decided that it would be, they would take normative people, so regular able-bodied persons and Photoshop their faces onto people with disabilities. And they have the tagline saying, would she have become a powerful influencer? Meaning if Therese, the able-bodied white woman, had she had a disability, would she have been as powerful as she is? Now, there are several issues with the way they have done this. Number one, the Swedish em on, uh, Unemployment Service, Arabic for Meglian, have not done a great work when it comes to ending discrimination in the work market. In fact, it has only gotten worse and they have less to show for helping people, especially those from marginalized groups and who are disabled to work in, get in the work market. Natalie, actually wrote on her social media because we're mutual friends she wrote on her social media stating that she doesn't quite understand why they chose to do this and then put that tagline so her main issue was the text that was in that image now when she posted this i reposted her on my platform action for humanity and within 10 minutes of me posting, Therese saw the post because I tagged her in it and went to ask Natalie to speak to her in private. 
Now I knew in my heart what was going to happen because if Therese chooses to have a private conversation with Natalie, I knew there would be some degree of manipulation because Therese is very, very aware of her image as the poster child for goodness. And that's fine. Things went exactly as I thought it would go because Natalie then came out and made a statement stating that she doesn't think that Therese was aware that the image would be manipulated in this way. I think Therese, like myself, when we work with companies, we get a contract and we get to see the end result. So Therese was aware, but what the issue is that maybe Therese is not so switched on that she would understand the issues with such an image, such an, such an advert, as well as the text that came with it. And like Maya Angelou said, once you know better, you do better. So I can't fault Therese for not thinking about the repercussions of taking such an image, but I do fault her because after she spoke to Natalie, she then came in my DM and we had an extensive conversation about the issues. She even asked me, she said she wanted to learn and she asked me and took my time for me to tell her how this can be fixed. And what I said was quite simple. I hope the company that did the advert can take responsibility, understand that this harms two major groups in society. First, people with disabilities, but secondarily, the black community and the mixed community. I told her, if Arbex for Mierglingham does not take responsibility and apologize, which I don't think they're gonna do, then you as an influencer have a responsibility to stand on the side of what is right. You have to use your platform and speak about the issues and back this young girl up. She said, okay, thank you, I understand then she does the exact opposite of what I gave her advice to do. And whilst I was writing, my partner kept telling me, you're too nice. You don't have to give her information because Google is there. She can, she can Google and see what the problem is. She can read the text that people are writing with prerogative on this matter but she chooses to come into your DMs to justify her what she's done and also ask for your time, take your time, but not do anything about it. Okay, so you might be asking yourself, what is the issue with this image? The image is, issue number one is the fact that the person who they have photoshopped out of the image is already an inspiring influencer with disability and is mixed. She's already somebody we can look at and be inspired by her fire, by her passion, by what she is achieving. Not because of her disabilities, but despite of it. She is inspiring people with disabilities, people without disabilities. She is doing her thing. Why do we have to Photoshop her face out? And a point that somebody's probably going to raise in the comments is that Natalie was aware that her face would be photoshopped out and Therese's face would be put in. Both parties knew that was going to happen. But they were not aware of the full impact of this advert. Natalie states clearly, when she went to be photographed for this image, the photographer made her exacerbate, so make her disability worse. So she's already in a vulnerable position, but they placed her on her wheelchair, made her feet visible, twisted it around, and it made her uncomfortable. So they made her disability worse for an impact of this image. She felt uncomfortable. Nobody should feel uncomfortable when you think that the end result is going to be good. Secondarily, she feels embarrassed that this image came out 
and it pays her out to not even be an influencer. It erases everything she's worked for all these years. And she has been a champion far more than Arabic for Megling and ever has done for people with disabilities. She's a young girl that is embarrassed. Her image is plastic all over Stockholm for everybody to see at bus stations, in the train stations, in various cities. Arabic Sumerian has responded and said they not they feel like the message is what matters so they're not really going to pull out any of these adverts just like i expected secondarily Natalie has been very clear that people shouldn't send hate or or or, or threats to Tarias now I've seen pretty much everybody who has DM Tarias because they've sent me those same images they haven't threatened anybody, they haven't been rude to anybody, they have been extremely kind. They have said, hi Therese, you've probably already seen this, but what do you think about it? And Therese's answer has been, both myself and Natalie were aware of this image. Natalie was never sent the image with the text to give her approval. So she never gave her approval for this image and this text. So Therese there has lied because she's not really taking responsibility. She's very, very careful that her image should not be tarnished in this, just like most influencers do. Second problem with this image, and I explained this quite thoroughly for Therese, is the fact that you've not only taken a person with disabilities, you have also taken a mixed race person and erased her skin tone and erase her ethnicity. We know that people with disabilities are discriminated in the work market, but what people are not fully aware of is the fact that when you are, when you have disabilities and you are a person of color or even worse, a black person or a mixed person, the discrimination you face in the work market is a lot higher. Okay? That's the problem in the job market today. So a white person with disabilities would have four times higher opportunities to get employed by companies than a person of color or a black person. How do I know this? Well, there has been reports and statistics done by Lance Sirelsen that has been government funding to show how much the discrimination is in the work market. Let me put it this way. If you're a white person and you send out applications for jobs, you are 21% going to receive positive responses. If you're a person of Polish descent, you will get 17% positive responses. And if you are a person that has a name that suggests you are from Iraq, you are, guess how much? 10% positive responses is what you can expect. Now, if you're a black person, especially if you have a Somali sounding name, you will only receive 5% positive responses to job applications. So do we see here that race is a huge problem when it comes to discrimination in the work market? So for Arabic for Meglian to actually do this advert and erase a person's ethnicity and all of their work is tone deaf, to say the least. This advert is ableist, and it's also whitewashing, which goes in line with racism. So Sweden's sweetheart refuses to take responsibility for this. She's in the comments telling people, telling Natalie that they should deal with this privately. But this is not a private issue and this is not an issue that two people can talk about privately when the imagery is being projected in Sweden's largest city, Stockholm. We have gone beyond Let's keep it private between two of us. My message to Therese Lindgren is very simple. You are a person with influence. You are a person with power. You are a person who has now made a mistake that harms marginalized groups. What you need to do at this position is not to try to bury the issue and to hope it goes away. What you need to do is take responsibility. Take humility and adopt it as part of your personality and make right what you have done wrong. Make right the people you have harmed. You need to be aware that this person you're harming is somebody that looks up to you amongst other people. She looks up to you as a role model 
and you're not behaving in a way that we expect role models to behave. This problem is not gonna go away. This problem will stay until you take responsibility for your part and you're not alone in this. Albex Vermeidlingen is wrong. S um, Bureau Sweat, who are the PR agency, are also wrong. If you look at both those parties, they have uh, literally 90% white people employed who thought this was a good idea. And no one is addressing the issue of whitewashing next to the ableism. So, to my followers out there that follow Tereus, that love Tereus, understand one thing. I have no issue with Tereus. I don't have an issue with Arbex Vermeidlingen. I don't even have an issue with Bureau Sweat, the PR company. But I have an issue with every organization and every public person that steps and harms people that are already at the bottom of the hierarchy in society. There's only one reason and one way where you get on my radar these days. And that is if you continually harm groups in society that are already marginalized. I understand that I have power too. I understand that I have influence. I have built my platforms to be able to amplify the voices of those that are marginalized. You have built your platform, Therese, and you have two things that you champion, climate change and the rights of animals. Now, we know we can keep two thoughts in our head, two fights in our head at the same time. Your work with animal rights, with climate change means nothing if you do not understand that society is built up of oppressive structures. And this time, in this instant, you, Therese Lindgren, are part of those structures that harm other people. We can like you all we want. We can think you're the bee's knees and you're the best thing that ever happened. But we can still give you constructive criticism when you step on the toes of those that are marginalized. It is your responsibility to educate yourself, to understand what you, where you've gone wrong and to make it right. It's not fair, Therese, to take up my time, ask me for advice, and then go and do the exact opposite of what I gave you advice. Because then you didn't even need to take contact with me. You've been following me for over a year now. You know exactly what I talk about. You know exactly what I champion for. And you've learned absolutely nothing. And that is a shame. That is a shame. You've been voted most influential in Sweden. It's time you behaved like it and go back, trace your steps and make it right to Natalie. Not to me, my darling, because frankly, I don't give a damn. You don't have anything to apologize to me for. You have nothing to, to, to talk to me about. All you need to do is go and make it right with Natalie. And I'm telling you that as a fellow Nina's Hammare, as a fellow influencer and as a fellow Swedish person, just like I expect my followers to come at me and tell me when they feel I have done something wrong and I have done something wrong. I once made comments that were ableist. When people pulled me up on it, what did I do? I said, I'm so sorry for my impact on you and your community. I used that opportunity to go on my Instagram. At that point, I only had, what, 50,000 followers. I used my voice to explain to people that follow me and look up to me what it means to be ableist, how people with disabilities in the community suffer, and how not to make the same mistakes I made. Because I'm only human. I make mistakes. But when my mistake stops just impacting me and impacts another community, I have to take responsibility. So must you. Be the person that the young people look up to. Be the person that has been voted most influential. Be a decent human being and make it up to Natalie. And understand that even if you lose this job, even if you break this contract, you've still been paid more than Natalie. You can still be a decent human being, even if Arbex Vermeidlingen stand in your way. So we have culprits. Let's rank them up. Arbex Vermeidlingen did a huge mistake, a tone deaf message out there to the community. Bureau Sweat need to understand that you can't claim diversity when your entire company is full of white people. Sitting there tapping themselves on the back for a great campaign 
and you don't have a one disabled person present in that room, you have no black people present in that room, you have no marginalized communities, just white people, white people. Then you also have third on that list, Therese Lindgren. Influential person, so influential that they use your face to get this message out there. It's gone wrong. Take your responsibility. That's the message for today. I've said everything I need to say. Another thing that I will say is that these days, white women, we've seen it before, I've done previous videos on it. When you criticize them, even with love in your heart, they will jump out and cry and say that you're bullying them. Now, you have what? A hundred times more followers than I have. I'm not bullying you. In fact, I've clearly said I like you personally. I support you and have supported you. I am not bullying you. Any person that follows me knows one thing about me. Never take my information and go and bully or send hate to somebody else because I get that every single day. So this is not Driev. This is nothing but constructive criticism I've given you in private and given you the benefit of the doubt and you've done complete nothing out of it. So now we take it to this arena and I hope, I hope with all my heart that you will do what's right. Bye guys.